Hello everyone. It's a great pleasure to be here. We've got only six, maximum eight minutes. Eight minutes for many tasks. Defining the title Concussion Mother. Presentation of model combining sports and science. Description of the scientific project carried out by Ready to Fight and Research Units. My name is Jakub Hitzki. I'm professor at the Institute of Sports Science, uh, Katowice, Poland, physiologist, strange conditioning trainer, and a member of Alexander Usyk team. In the team, I am responsible for programming training loads, monitoring fatigue, designing and supervising combined physical and cognitive exercise, include vision and brain executive functions. Scientists who study phenomena, mechanisms, and processes in sports training in sports science use a variety of research tools and methods. Psychological mechanisms, molecular markers, biomechanical analysis and others. Research results usually have concrete application potential. If research results are going to change sports, it needs to study professional athletes. They should be studied in their natural environment or under very controlled condition. The training camp of Alexander Usyk provides an optimal setting for the observation of phenomena associated with optimization of an athlete performance. And from this perspective, there seems to be a possibility and needs to combine science and sports. It could be beneficial for both fields. It's like making applied science a reality. A quick example. Daily schedule, control of sleep, monitoring nutrition and hydration, precisely those exercise stress and other factors that usually interfere the training process. Today's training teams are made up of coaches, doctors, physiotherapists, nutritionists, psychologists and training assistants. Specific goals, health, training, monitoring, fatigue, safety and injury prevention, all to make the training process effective. We just monitor the body responds to exercise, physiological and psychological stress. We define the physiological environment, fatigue and overall symptoms. This allows us to program more personalized training. Is this important piece of the training puzzle? For sure. We look forward for adventures there. My traumatic brain injury is an injury common to contact sports, boxing, MMA, American football, injuries accompanying physical activity in sports subject to mechanical damage or rapid head acceleration. Regardless of how we classify impacts in combat sports, whether, whether we consider them very strong, moderately strong or weak, the fighter's head rapidly moves and accelerates. And the brain, despite being protected by the bones of the school, cerebrospinal meninges or other cerebrospinal fluids, undergoes concussion, banging against the school and affecting this delicate structure. The brain tissue is stretched and the blood vessels that nourish it are, are torn. Resistance to concussions cannot be trained by athletes and they are not, uh, and they are exposed to the greater strength and frequency. In the context of boxing, this type of brain injury, repetitive, mind, mild, traumatic brain injury, commonly referred to as concussive or sub, sometimes subconcussive injuries, are currently the greatest diagnostic and therapeutic challenge. Researchers from, of the topic from Wayne State University years ago presented a so-called tolerance curve, suggesting loads that could potentially lead to brain damage. 50G acting for at least 12 milliseconds was taken as the limit. We know that regardless of the weight category, athletes, boxers are able to generate ro rotational acceleration in excess of 62G. Any impacts potentially dangerous, any impacts is potentially brain damaging. Measurements are taken on specially dedicated measurement systems integrated into mouthguards. To sum up, these factors are linked to how long the athlete will be competing, how long will be career. It's fair to say that resistance to punches is a skill, like strength, speed, endurance. An ability that deteriorates with exposure to injury and lack of preventive measures, recovery, training, therapy. Concussion management is the time management of athlete's career. We need to take care of brain health. In my opinion, 
in terms of public awareness, we are at the point where, one, we have accepted the fact that the professional career in combat sports involves the particularly high risk to brain, to brain health. We are striving to optimize sports training and competition in order to minimize the risk of permanent health loss. This issue, an area of discussion and research, has been developed around the world for more than a decade. We have new diagnostic tools, preventive technology. This fills us with optimism. I don't consider the problem of my traumatic brain injury to be a taboo subject, but rather an ongoing challenge in diagnosis, prevention, and of course, rehabilitation. To support the solution to this problem, Ready to Fight has established Ready to Science. We are implementing a research project to monitor athletes, sparring partners by integrating training, diagnostic and preventive tools. We monitor head acceleration during sparring, physical and cognitive performance, sleep quality. At selected time points, we draw blood for biochemical parameters that allows us to determine adaptive potential overload and fatigue symptoms. Every two weeks, we assess changes in blood-brain barrier biomarkers. In collaboration, between the Institute of Sports Science, Miller School of Medicine, University of Miami, and Ready to Fight, we are conducting a research project. Blood-brain barrier dysfunction in the context of exercise, hydration, and repeated my traumatic brain injury. We have a great challenge ahead of us, a great hope for development of Ready to Science, a great opportunity to improve the safety of professional boxers. A sporting and scientific challenge, for sure. Let's stay in touch. Uh, greetings to the participants of the WBC Congress and to the boxing community. Thank you.